All right, you guys, you got to be careful with this one because based on the last one, uh, it was if t equals 9, then t squared equals 81. That was true because of the order of things. In this one, we're going to find to be false because of, once again, the order. If t squared equals 81, then t equals negative 9. Now, uh, when we replace t, so in t squared equals 81, if we replace t with negative 9, which is what we're going to do. Negative 9 times negative 9 is 81. Now looking at this, oh, I'm sorry, that's, that's not a negative 81. That's just an 81. So this 81 does equal 81. That's a true statement, but is that the only solution? In this case, it's not the only solution, which makes this false, right? Because t also, t also equals a positive 9. Right? If we made this 9 squared, we'd get 81. So it's kind of like this, right? If we take the square root of a t squared like this, that's why t equals positive 9 and a negative 9, okay? That's kind of what this is getting at, and that is also why the answer to this one is false. Now, if it asked us if t equals negative 9, then t squared equals 81, that would be true. Because it's the if, it, that's the condition. If t squared equals 81, then, that's what we're seeing what's true, then t equals negative 9. Uh, again, that is false because we need two answers on this specific problem.